Hey everyone, Simon Holly from Inklips. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to show you how to make a special and interactive card using little mini LEDs from Chibitronics. And I'm also going to be using this little hero stamp set with a bunch of different critters from Little Inker Designs. So if you want to see that, just keep watching. So I wanted to start out by showing you guys what comes in this Chibitronics kit. And also I wanted to say and mention that anything that you see inside of this kit, if you ever run out of it, you can buy them individually, which is really nice as well. So this is a nice starter pack and then you can kind of branch out from there if you want to keep creating these really interactive and awesome cards. So when you pull this out, you'll have this little toolkit bag, and I already have used mine. This was after I filmed the video that I decided to just film this part as extra. So there's the copper tape. This is the stuff that's going to be kind of making your little circuit, I guess. And then inside of there, there are two little batteries that look like this. I already used one of them in one of the cards, but it's just going to have a positive and negative side to react with the circuit. And then here are some of the little lights. These are the white lights, but it comes with a lot of different colored lights too. It comes with a bunch of these little lights. And basically you pop them out of the little three pack that they have here and you can use them individually like that. So they'll have the color name on it and they also have a positive and negative side, which will be marked as well. And that'll help you with creating your circuit in the future. And these are the parts that actually light up. This is the little guidebook. You're gonna wanna read this to create some really fun different effects. And now I'm just going to quickly show you how to create a simple circuit so I can explain it more in detail and then while I'm creating the actual card you guys will know what I'm doing. So when you're using this copper tape, this is the stuff that will create the circuit. I'm going to cut this actually in half. I didn't do this when I was creating the real card, but it does save some of your copper tape and it still reacts just as well as using the full strip. It'll just save you some of your supplies. Then I'm cutting down this little piece of cardstock which will actually fit the battery inside. This is going to be like a little house for your battery. It's going to keep it all intact and keep it from not moving around. And I'll show you some other ways to keep it from that moving around as well but this is going to basically create a little circuit holder for the little battery so you can push on that when you want it to activate the lights all this stuff will be sandwiched into your card so it doesn't have to look good or anything like that when you're doing it so basically I'm going to take this little piece of copper tape it's adhesive backed so you just have to pull off that little adhesive part there and then I'm going to take this tape and start from the bottom of the housing, which will be touched by the negative part of the battery. So this will actually be the negative part of the copper tape. And I'm going to put it all the way to where I want the circuit of the light to go. So I'm just adhering it down like that and making sure it's nice and flush to the paper. You don't need to adhere it down too tight in case we need to lift anything up. And I'll show you how to finish adhering it down once you're finished like that. So that's where I want the bottom of the circuit to be, so I stopped at the tape there and ripped it off. Then I'm going to start right above it, which you're going to leave a little gap right in between it so you can have the little light touching both sides of it, so you're not going to want it too far apart. Then once I'm done doing that, if you want to turn a corner, I'm going to start the positive side here. So I'm doing it right across from it, and if you want to turn a corner, you have to fold it back onto yourself and then turn it. You could always just rip it as well to turn a corner and then make sure that it's nicely adhered together, but I do find that when you do that, it works a little bit better when you just turn the corner. And then also, if you find you ran out of tape or anything, just add more on top of it, and I'll show you how to make that adhere flush to it. So then, when we're going back into the housing to adhere it back to the battery, all you need to do is go over top of the housing like this. So just adhere your tape right over top of it. And then open it up and go right inside as well and end right on the top of that little housing. That way the top of the positive will touch the positive part of the battery and the bottom will touch the negative part of the battery. This will complete your circuit. To make sure your circuit's nice and stuck down, you're going to want to use your bone folder just to fold everything and make sure that it's nice and flat. And you'll see that it'll turn flat once you're done doing that. This really helps it just light up and once you're done going through all these steps, it'll have a nice circuit and you're going to not want to miss any of these steps. So then I'm going to adhere my light. You'll see that the positive side is touching the positive and the negative is touching the negative. You can also do a little bone folder onto there too and I find that that helps to make sure it's nice and stuck down onto that piece of adhesive. Then I like to adhere my battery down here but you could just house it in using some foam tape but I find that this works a little bit better for me. I'm pushing it down there and then once I close the top on it, that will turn on my light and activate the whole circuit. So that is just how to create a really quick and simple circuit. And I'm going to show you how I created this full on card. I really love this card and the ways that it lights up. I tried lighting up some smaller portions on a separate card and it didn't work out too well. So I had to take that card apart because these are quite expensive to make. I did just want to mention that. So you don't want to waste them on cards that you don't love. And you're only going to want to send them for certain occasions and really special people in your life.
So I'm stamping then these little critters from Little Inker in some black memento tuxedo black ink. This is Copic friendly, so when we go in and color it, it won't bleed. So I'm stamping down the little superhero and then the little dog right in front of it. And I'm going to start off by cutting out the little dog's nose because I want that to light up with a yellow light. And then I'm going to cut out that little kind of superhero shape right inside of that other little critter over there. And once I'm done cutting that out, those will be the areas where I want to put in my lights. Now I find that once you do a bigger area like this, the lights really pop and shine. And I really love to do these bigger areas rather than the tiny ones because they don't show as well as these do. So after I'm done, I'm just going to pull those little areas out. You're going to want to make sure you do a really good job of cutting those out. And then I'm going to put it on top of a card base exactly where I want it and mark where I have those in place with just a little simple pencil. I'm also going to flip that over and adhere some vellum on the back side of that. That way when the lights shine through, it's not too harsh of a light and you don't really see all the details of the lights below it. Then to just do some really simple Copic coloring, I'm just going to do some really nice and simple blending like I always do on these cards. Now I found that making sure that the color scheme is right for these lights is awesome. So I'm just doing some like reds, yellows, and the lights will bring in some colors too. So you want to make sure you have the right colors around it. So the theme of the card is going to be like red, blue, and yellow. And so the blue and yellow are going to be in the lights. And then the dogs are just going to have some really neutral colors on them. That way the lights really pop off the card like the superhero images. So I'm just going to keep blending that in and I also find that going around the part where you cut the light out with the darkest color is also really nice because it will give that a nice contrast right in between there. So I'm just blending that out with a lighter color and I decided to do both of the dogs in a really different color but I'm doing that first dog really light of a color and kind of both of them really light so the focus is really on the lights. And also you'll notice that this card is super super simple. I decided not to embellish it much or not to really much around these little critters because like I said I wanted the the lights to be the really outstanding part of the card and for that to be the really good focal part. So for this little doggy here, I decided to just color in its little eye with the brown colors and then do the rest of the dog gray. I thought that would create a really fun contrast and be a little interesting for these quirky little images which I just love. Then to create the little shadow below it because I needed just a little bit of a scene here to add to the card, I'm starting off with a darker gray color to just add underneath where their tallest parts of them would be and their little cape. And then I'm going to go in with a lighter Copic marker to blend it all out but I wanted it to be a really harsh shadow. Then I'm stamping down the sentiment that says, you're a super friend. And I'm going to be marking out my circuit and where I want everything to go. So I'm starting out with the lights here. I'm marking where the plus and minus side is going to be. And then I'm just going to lay it and make sure that the light is going to go right through the center of both of the openings. And I'm also going to make the battery where you're going to want to push right on the top left corner. And you'll see what I do with that in a little bit later to create a button for it. So I'm starting with the, I think, positive side here. I'm not quite sure which side it is. And I'm going to add just the copper tape to it. Like I said, I didn't cut this one in half, so it makes it a little bit more hard to maneuver. So you're going to want to probably cut your copper tape in half, and you can save it some of it like that as well. So to create the circuit, this is going to be a little more difficult than the first one. I'm starting off, yeah, this is the positive side. And I'm doing the whole circuit and then wrapping it around the top of the house there for the little magnet. And then I'm going to go with the minus circuit and I'm going right on the other side and I'm going to want to go onto the bottom of the housing here. So I'm going right into the bottom there. And then I'm going to connect both of the circuits to that line. So with the positive, I connected both of the positive sides. And for the negative, I connected both of the negative because we're having two little lights in here that are on opposite sides of the card. So I'm smoothing this out using a bone folder, making sure everything is going to work perfectly. You're going to want to make sure that this all works perfectly before you keep going on with your card. So I'm bone folding that all down and then I'm going to put on my lights here. So that's the blue light. I'm doing the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative, making sure that it works there. And then same with the yellow light, but the yellow light didn't actually work. So I just had to fidget with a, a little bit and it actually turned out you needed to push it down a little bit more and make sure it was really nice and adhered. So I'm just using my bone folder to do that here and the yellow light then works. So once those are both adhered and I know that they work perfectly, I'm adding two layers of fun foam here and I'm adhering that all down onto the surface, making sure it's nice and adhered. This will make it so that when I don't push down onto the card, it won't light up. And then when I do push down, it'll light up perfectly. I'm also stamping that little cloud down in light gray ink. This will make sure that people know where to push and I'll also leave a little message inside that says, hey, push on the cloud to turn on the card. 
Then, this is kind of where things went a little downhill here, I decided to rip the whole card apart because I didn't like how some of the light went actually through the card and I added way more fun foam than I needed. So I wouldn't do that, I would keep it more simple like I did in the first place which actually made the card really work well. This kind of just made the card a little bit ruined and I did actually end up taking the whole thing apart afterwards but I will probably be recreating it in the future because I love the look of it and I'm going to be reusing all the parts of this. So this is how the card turned out, I really enjoyed creating this video today, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys want to try this, I'll have all the supplies listed in the description down below and over at my blog, Enclips.com. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and will create some special cards like this for your loved ones. These interactive cards are super fun to create and super different as well. This was definitely a fun experiment and I want to make more cards like this in the future. So there's more videos on screen for you guys to click if you want to see those. If you want to click the subscribe button, you'll never miss another video just like this one from my channel. Click that logo that you see right there on screen as well. That'll take you over to my website. There's much more information over there as well as pictures and a full supplies list. And I'll see you guys very soon for another card making and crafting video very soon. Bye!